Yo guys and welcome to my Premier League season 2019-2020 predictions that sounded really good. Alright, let's get started because I don't know how to do intros. So before we start, I'd like to announce, because I'm an announcer, that I'm doing a fantasy Premier League on the Premier League app or Premier League website. Young King Cookson has said he's happy to do it as well. If you want to join it, hit me up in the Instagram DMs at underscore Druzy and the winner will get an Instagram shout out or a gift card or something. I'll sort it out depending on how well it goes. If you want to join, hit me up. I'll send you the code. Let's get cracking into my 2019-2020 Premier League season predictions. Right, so the three relegated teams that I think will get relegated are 20th Norwich, 19th Sheffield United and 18th Newcastle United. Two bottom teams are the two new promoted teams from the championship. They haven't made any huge signings. They've signed a couple players, like Norwich has signed four players I think, but no one that's going to make waves. What I've seen in my time of watching the Premier League, I don't think Norwich are going to cut it. Sheffield have done some business. They've signed Ravel Morrison, who used to be a Man United graduate back in the day. They've signed Phil Jagielka. Players that aren't really going to cut it in the Premier League I don't think. Newcastle, they've sacked the only thing that's been going for them for three is. Rafa Benitez has kept them up with no help from the board whatsoever. He goes and they've gone and signed three players. They've signed off the top of my head Jolinton from Hoffenheim, that St. Maximum Gucci geezer, and Jetro Williams, the left back. Used to be a gun on FIFA back in the day. So he's going to be good. They've got Steve Bruce as their manager, and he is pretty much a shithouse. Good player back in his day, but he's a shithouse manager. And it's going to be a bad season for Newcastle, I think. In 17th, I've gone for Burnley. Nothing special, really. Uh, they've lost Tom Heaton, which will be a huge loss. He is a quality, quality, quality keeper. They've signed Jay Rodriguez from West Brom. Good player. Championship quality, though. They've got a sick manager, Sean Dyche, and he just knows how to stay in the Prem. So I think Burnley will scrape through like they do every season in the Premier League. 16th is the other promoted side, Aston Villa. They've signed a lot of players. So they've got Tom Heaton from Burnley, Douglas Louise from Man City, Matt Target, Tyron Ming from Bournemouth. Good signing. And they've released a lot of their Deadwood as well. So they're giving it a red hot crack. They've got a good manager as well. Got what his name was, but he's a good manager. I'm an expert, alright? Trust me, guys. Trust me. They exited the Premier League pretty ugly a couple seasons ago. But nah, I think Aston Villa will stay up. 15th, Brighton. Don't know what to say really about Brighton. They're an alright side. To be fair, I can see Brighton getting relegated. In 14th, I've got Southampton. They're a good side. Got good players. They've signed Che Adams from Birmingham. Shout out the Peaky Blinders. Southampton, 14th, nothing special. 13th, I'm going Bournemouth. They've been so consistent since they've come up. No one expected it. They're such a small club, but it shows what happens when you've got a good fan base, you've got a good manager. They've lost Tyron Mings, as I said, to Villa. So he'll be a pretty big loss, but they've got Nathan Ake. They've got a decent defense as it is. So I see them staying up. This area of the table is so strange. It could be flipped over and it wouldn't surprise me. In 12th, I've gone with Crystal Palace. They've lost Aaron Wan-Bissaka to my boys, Man United. That's going to be a huge loss on them. He's a top three fullback in the league. Wilfred Zaha doesn't seem too happy and he was their top goal scorer last season. They've signed Jordan Ayu as well, so he'll bring some goals. I could see Crystal Palace battling for relegation as well as finishing 12th. It's a weird one, but I've chucked them 12th. 11th, I've gone Watford. They're just a good side, aren't they? They've just got decent players. You've got your Dale LaFayuse, Troy Deeney. Just players that get the job done, you know? Just solid, solid players. The core players, yeah? That play football. 11th, Watford. Not much more to say. Right, Leicester, I have gone with for 10th place. They've signed Iosi Perez from Newcastle. I think he'll be a good signing for them. He did really well at Newcastle with Bugger support, so he'll probably be a good signing for Leicester. They've lost Harry Maguire to my boys again, Man United. We're splashing out on the defenders this window. Brendan Rodgers is a good manager. He won the treble at Celtic. Brendan Rodgers will keep mid-table, which I think you've got to be happy with that if you're Leicester. A couple seasons ago, they were nearly relegated. Won the league. Nearly got relegated again, so I'm pretty sure they'd settle for 10th. In 9th, I've gone with Everton. Usually 7th or 8th. 1. Because I don't like Scousers. 2. Because they've lost Adrissa Gay. He's their most important player and they've lost him to PSG. That hole is such a crucial part of the field. Centre defensive mid. Who's going to replace it? Fabian Delph? No. They haven't signed another defensive midfielder I don't think. They've signed Moyes Keane from Juventus so that'll be exciting to watch and apparently they're trying to sign Zaha but yeah, ninth I think this season. In 8th place, I'm going for the Irons West Ham United. They're one of my favourite Premier League teams, to be honest. The culture around the club is just so English. They've signed Sebastian Haller from Eintracht Frankfurt, and he looks 
mint, mate. Pablo Fornells from Villarreal, another mint one. I feel like this season will be like the Payet season back in the day, the last season at the bowling ground. And this will be a nice, nice season for West Ham. Pellegrini's a good manager as well. Obviously, Premier League winning manager with Man City back in the day. Plonka. They've kicked out a lot of their deadwood as well. And Carroll, Lucas Perez, he did bugger all. Adrian and Nazri. They will do well this season, I think. In seventh place, I have gone with Wolverhampton Wanderers or Wolves. They finished seventh last season after getting promoted. They caused a ruckus last season. They took the most points from the top six out of any club outside of the top six. They've got an awesome culture at their club. They're so exciting to watch. They've signed Jimenez on a permanent. They had him last season and he was just sick along with Jota. Patrick Catrone from AC Milan. They haven't lost any of their players like Ruben Neves. He's an integral part of their team. They've kept their manager so I think it'll be another good season for Wolves. Here comes the juicy, juicy juice juice. Sick spot. I've Put Chelsea Football Club. Hear me out, yeah? Right, so you've got a new manager. He's come in, Frank Lampard. Young manager, inexperienced manager. And you've got a transfer ban. He's gonna have to play with the cards he's dealt. They've got Tammy Abraham back from Aston Villa and Kovacic from Real Madrid. Inexperienced, mixed with no signings. I don't think it's gonna be a good season for Chelsea. They're the worst of the top six for me, for sure. They've lost Hazard. Like, how are they gonna replace Hazard? They don't have any real striker other than Tammy Abraham and Giroud. You you're not going to do well in the top six with Tammy Abraham and Giroud. I like Tammy Abraham, but it's not going to happen. In number five, I have got a foot Man United fish. I'm being realistic. As much as I hate to say it, Ollie's first full season in charge. We've made three signings. Dan James is all right. Wan-Bissaka and Maguire, they are going to be huge this season. We're stacking up to have one of the best defenses in the league. We haven't made enough signings. We've made good signings, but we needed more. We needed another cut, like a box-to-box -box center mid, like an Idrissa Gay or something like that. We lost and Herrera, obviously, one of my favourite players in the last five years. But we needed a right wing. We need more midfielders, as I just said. Our squad depth is pretty average, to be honest. I want to see players like Jimmy Garner getting a chance. Scott McTominay, I want him to play more. I know he will. Play Angel Gomez through the midfield, not on the wing. And yeah, let's see how we can go. Let's build this team. Fourth, I am going with Arsenal FC. They've signed Nicolas Pepe from Lille. I really wanted him, because he was a gun on FIFA last year. So I really want <laughs> I sound like such a pleb. You're gonna have Pepe, Lacazette, and Bamiang. That's gonna be a sick side. That's gonna be an exciting side to watch. Unai Emre is obviously a sick manager. They're not gonna be better than Spurs, Liverpool, or City because their defense is literally a dustbin. They've lost Aaron Ramsey, but I think they'll be alright. I think they'll finish fourth in the Champions League spot. In third, I have gone with Liverpool. People are gonna be salty right now if anyone's actually watching up to this point saying oh Liverpool will win the league they come second last year well hear me out right no you won't you're not gonna win the league it's not gonna happen watch me eat my words but I don't think it will happen Mane, Firmino and Salah have all been on international duty haven't had a pre-season they're not gonna be ready for the season it's gonna be a slow start and it's gonna cook them they haven't made many signings didn't really need too many, but you want that X factor to come in every season, and they just haven't got it. So I'm gonna say, yeah, Liverpool, I'm gonna say they're gonna finish third, and that'll make me happy, dogs. In second place, I've gone with Tottenham Hotspur. Pochettino, for me, is probably the best manager in the world at the moment. What he's done with Spurs, with the lack of signings over the years, he's turned Harry Kane into a superstar out of nowhere. I have so much respect for him. I wanted him at United over Solskjaer. He signed Endon Bele from Leon, I think it was. Apparently, they're in the running for Coutinho and Dybala. I doubt those will come off, but if they do, that will be insane. A fit Harry Kane. He was out for the back end of last season and they still finished what like fourth I think it was new bolstering centre mid in with Endon Bele if Ericsson stays and they can make maybe one more signing I see them having a good season so obviously that leaves first place Man City what a surprise I mean <laughs> they're too good I take that back actually about Pochettino being the best manager in the world because obviously Pep Guardiola is their squad depth is ridiculous they've got Gabby Jesus starting if he's not starting Aguero starting Sterling is coming into his prime now He's an absolute gun. They signed Rodri from Atletico Madrid. He's going to be their new Fernandinho. Sort of dictating the play. David Silva's last season. He's going to want to go out with a bang. Bernardo Silva, absolute class, class player. City are just going to win the league, I think. Everyone's predicting it, except for Liverpool fans. But they lack education. So if you've made it this far in the video, thank you very much. You're a legend and I appreciate you greatly. Don't forget, if you want to join my fantasy league, hit me up at underscore Drewzy on Instagram. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. 
if you subscribe, that would mean a lot to me. Share it with your friends, drop a comment, tell me how much of a dickhead I am or how right I am. I don't mind. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. See you later.